This is the Emergency Medical Minute, sponsored by Health One. Hello, everyone. Today, I'm going to talk to you about something that's going to require you to put on your physics boots because we're going into the weeds a little bit on this one. You know, when we do imaging, especially things like CT scans, we'll sometimes use what we call contrast agents to help us define processes. But in the case of MRIs, we don't do contrast so much as what we use is an element called gadolinium. Gadolinium is a fascinating element. Gadolinium is element number 64 and has some interesting properties. For example, it's ferromagnetic uh, below a temperature of about 68 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it's attracted to iron products. But above that uh, temperature, it's um, what we call paramagnetic. And it has some interesting properties that helps us utilize it in imaging, uh, specifically MRIs. Now the ion itself, or gadolinium alone, is fairly toxic, but when we combine it chemically with other products, what's known as chelation, then that becomes a very fascinating uh, element to allow us to see things like tumors or abnormal tissue. Uh, gadolinium's in, in the periodic table what we call the rare earth row. Um, and doesn't have a lot of specific uses outside of medicine, though it is used sometimes in, uh, in metallurgy. Uh, what it does do is, because of its very unique property of having a maximum number of unpaired electrons in its orbital shells, uh, it allows it to be magnetized more easily than any other element. So when we put it into the body as a so-called contrast agent, and we allow MRIs to work whereby they polarize tissue and then as the magnets turned off allows the polarization to decay, then the gadolinium helps to light up abnormal tissues or tissues that take on the gadolinium to uh, change its rate of decay. Now the interesting property about gadolinium is not only is it potentially diagnostic in helping us to define tissues and especially cancer type tissues, but if we're able to attach that gadolinium to abnormal tissues like tumor, then we can help focus chemotherapy to those cancerous cells. It really triggers what's almost like a little nuclear explosion inside the abnormal cells that can be highly and definitively targeted instead of some more systemic type treatments like chemotherapy. Gadolinium doesn't have uh, a perfect record in terms of toxicity. However, the chance of someone having an anaphylactic reaction from a gadolinium-aided MRI is less than one in a thousand. And in even very rare cases, uh, there's a potential for some kidney injury. It's not nearly to the level that we think of the potential for kidney injury with iodinated uh, contrasts used in CT scan, but it can, on rare occasions, induce a condition called nephrogenic systemic fibrosis. Um, for that reason, we still are very careful about uh, administering gadolinium to patients who are in end-stage renal failure, though some people recommend it be done in conjunction with dialysis as soon as possible. So, sorry for all the uh, the techno babble with the physics, but think that uh, understanding gadolinium a little bit and uh, the fact that it does have the very unique properties of being paramagnetized to help define particular tissue types and why we use it in MRIs is uh, especially helpful. We are on a quest to provide the world with free medical education. Please help us out by rating us on iTunes, following us on social media, and subscribing to our newsletter at emergencymedicalminute.com.